Welcome to this learning video on street light installation and maintenance by Power Sector Skill Council, produced in collaboration with Simca. This video is aligned to the job role of Assistant Technician, Street Light Installation and Maintenance, QP Code PSS Oblique Q6003, NOS Code PSS Oblique N6007. We are now going to learn about the various types of lamp fixtures that are used in street light installation. Here we will see different type of street light pole fixture and where it can be used. 1. High mast. We are watching high mast pole made of galvanized iron. We install high mast light where large area need to illuminate like railway station, stadium, road junction, point etc. This high mast height is 25 meter having 6 arm. In each arm we have fixed 400 watt LED floodlight fixture having ingress protection IP66. The first digit of ingress protection shows protection from solid particles and the second digit shows protection from liquid ingress. Two double arm street light. Now we are watching another type of street light pole made of galvanized iron that is double arm street light having 9 meter height. We install this kind of street light where both the side of the road need to illuminate. We install this kind of street light at median of both sideway road. Here in each arm, we have fixed 90 watt LED light fixture having IP code 66. 3. Single arm street light. Now we are watching another type of street light pole made of galvanized iron that is single arm street light having 7 meter height. We install this kind of street light where only one side of the road need to illuminate. Here in each arm, we have fixed 70 watt LED light fixture having IP code 66. 4. Post stop light. Now we are watching another type of light pole having 3 meter height. We install this kind of light on walkway, garden lawn etc. for illumination as well as beautification purpose. This kind of light fixture mount on the top of the pole and it illuminated around the pole. Here we have fixed 36 watt LED light fixture having IP code 66, 5, pendant light. Now we are watching another type of light comes under pendant light category. This is high bay light. It is used where ceiling to floor height is high. Example, indoor stadium, workshop, etc. Here it is fixed with true ceiling. Here in this category, you are watching 150 watt high pressure sodium vapor HPS3 fixture and 150 watt LED light fixture having IP code 65. Now we will see light fixture introduction. Lights fixture are one of the first applications of electricity at a large scale, ranging from its use of incandescent lamps of carbon or tungsten filaments to low power consuming CFL and LED. The light fixture changed over the year in the following sequence. Incandescent bulbs, fluorescent tubes, halogen lamp, high pressure mercury vapor lamps, sodium vapor lamps and then low power consuming CFL and LED. There are various types of fixtures that we are going to discuss in this video. Gas discharge lamps introduction. These lamps produce light by sending electricity through an ionized gas. Most of these lamps use a noble gas or a combination of noble gases. But they often contain other materials such as mercury, sodium or metal halides. The gases in these lamps are ionized in operation. This means that there are free electrons. When an electric current is sent through the gas, electrons collide with atoms of the gas and the metals. This will mean that some reach a higher energy state. When they fall back into the lower energy state, they will emit the energy in the form of light. Sodium vapor lamp and mercury vapor lamp are type of this kind lamp. 1. Sodium vapor lamp. Now you are watching sodium vapor lamp. It is an electrical discharge lamp contains an inner discharge tube made of borosilicate glass. This is fitted with metal electrodes and filled with neon and argon gas and a little metallic sodium. The first one is 150 watt sodium vapor lamp and second one is 250 watt sodium vapor lamp used for street light and other purposes for illumination. 2. Mercury Lamps Now you are watching Mercury Vapor Lamp which is a high intensity discharge lamp. It uses an arc through vaporized mercury in a high pressure tube.
create very bright light directly from its own arc. This is different from fluorescence. We choose the mercury vapor arc to create a weaker light. It mainly creates UV light to excite the phosphors. First one is 150 watt mercury vapor lamp and second one is 72 watt mercury vapor lamp. Used for street light and other purposes for illumination. Light fixture as we are seeing contains two number 150 watt mercury vapor lamp used for flood light purpose. Compact fluorescent light CFL. Now you are watching compact fluorescent light. CFL lamp contains argon and mercury vapor housed within a spiral shaped tube. They also have integrated ballast which produces an electric current to pass through the vaporous mixture, exciting the gas molecules. In older CFL, it took several seconds for the ballast to produce enough electricity to ramp up the excitation. Newer CFL have more efficient ballasts and acquire a shorter warm-up. Either way, when the gas gets excited, it produces ultraviolet light. The ultraviolet light is converted into visible light as it strikes the fluorescent coating on the bulb painted inside the bulb. As this coating absorbs energy, it emits visible light. Now you are seeing bigger one which is 36 watt CFL lamp and smaller one which is 18 watt CFL lamp. Now you are seeing 11 watt CFL lamp used in household. Light fixture you are seeing contains two number 36 watt CFL lamp. It is used for street light purpose. Halogen lamp. Now you are watching halogen lamp which is an incandescent light source. It consists of a tungsten filament enclosed in an environment of inert gas and a small amount of halogen, bromine or iodine. The combination of tungsten filament and the halogen results in a chemical reaction called the halogen cycle through which light produces which increases the lifetime of the filament. You are seeing 500 watt halogen lamp generally used for area lighting. LED lamps. Now you are watching different type of LED lights. Nowadays it is used for street light purpose. LED stands for light emitting diode. An LED is an electronic device that emits light when an electrical current is passed through it. The energy efficient nature of LEDs allows them to produce brighter light than other types of bulbs while using less energy. Now you are watching 18 watt lamp used for indoor area light purpose. Now you are watching 36 watt LED street lamp fixture. Now you are watching 90 watt LED street light fixture. Now you are watching 300 watt LED flood light fixture. Now you are watching 20 watt LED tube light fixture used for residential household and offices. Now we are watching 36 watt TA tube light. Tube diameter of 25.4 mm and 28 watt T5 tube light. Tube diameter of 15.9 mm. Light fixtures are classified broadly based on wattage, luminous efficacy, lumen per watt, and color rendering properties. Watt, abbreviated W, is a unit corresponding to the rate of energy or power consumption in an electric circuit. In this case, watt refers to the power needed to light a street light bulb. Lumens are the units describing the amount of light energy given off by the light bulb as seen by the human eyes. Color rendering properties is a general term for describing the ability of a light source to provide color information to a human observer when objects are illuminated. When color rendering properties would be excellent, then human eye can identify different color in an excellent manner. If color rendering properties would be poor, then it will be difficult for human eye to identify different colors. Type of lamp. Luminous efficacy. Lumen per watt. Color rendering properties. Lamp life in hours. Serial number one. High pressure mercury vapor MV. 35 to 65 lumen per watt. Fair. 10,000 to 15,000. Two. Metal halide MH. 70 to 130 lumen per watt. Excellent. 8,000 to 12,000. Three. High pressure sodium vapor HPSV 50 to 150 lumen per watt fair 15,000 to 24,000 4. Low pressure sodium vapor LPSV 100 to 190 lumen per watt very poor 18,000 to 24,000 5. Low pressure mercury fluorescent tubular lamp T12 and T8 35 to 
13 to 90 lumen per watt. Good. 5000 to 10000. 6. Energy efficient fluorescent tubular lamp. P5. 100 to 120 lumen per watt. Very good. 15000 to 20000. 7. Light emitting diode LED. 70 to 160 lumen per watt. Good. 40,000 to 90,000. 